Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with yet another idea book. This is not really part three, but kind of, you know, because I already showed you the black and white and I did that in two parts because honestly, the uncut video was 50 minutes long and I figured that's too much. <laughs> All right, before the dogs interrupt us or the cat has a crisis, um, I'm going to go through this, but I'm not going to explain everything in the book because there are two other videos that took a long time to make that basically this book is almost the mirror image of the black and white, except for the colors are different. All right, so I started out thinking I was going to put more than browns in here, that I was going to try to tone them down, so I, I did. I tried to find colors that were muted but still bright enough that they would appeal to people. I still need to make a little book to slip in here. I forgot to do that before I started the video. Oops, a daisy. And again, the card just in the tuck spot with the um, the bag. This page looks kind of sad, doesn't have a lot on it. It needs a friend. <laughs> this is just a little um, accordion with the belly band. Accordion book with the belly band. This is a, a little tiny envelope. And then there's like a ephemera that's cut from scrapbook. Anyway, it's the same kind of premise as the other books, so. Then I decided maybe I wanted to do violets and pinks, and so I changed colors a little bit. This is tucked inside here. There's a little card in here. And then there's a tag. Doesn't have a lot, anything on it except for the word believe. Then I thought, okay, so Besides brown, let's do greens. <laughs> so here's my green section. <laughs> Since green's my favorite color, I thought I should represent. All right. So again, this is just the same type stuff. This is just a fold out note. This is just a pre-done ephemera from, I don't know, some ephemera pack I got. Here's another one. It was a little bit too big, so I trimmed it down so I could slide it in there. This was one of my iCADs that I featured on um, Instagram. This is also another iCAD that was on Instagram. I did try to use my iCADs since I said I was going to use them for journaling cards. I really have been. Belly band. Then I decided to go back to pinkish. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I did try to tone it down a little bit though. This is just a little card. And this is my art. This is a stamp on uh, coffee dyed deli paper. And then this is uh, coffee dyed paper with uh, doilies. Somebody gifted to me. And then again, this is the one that with the magnets on it. Just a tag in a pocket on the back of the other side of the magnet. Notepad with scraps tucked underneath the belly band. There's a stamp pocket and inside the stamp pocket has the book with the little notepad and then it has another little um, tag in the tuck spot in the corner here. I tried to figure out a way to tone this back down a little bit but I'd already sewn it and glued it and I was not ripping it out. A little tab up here. Then I thought, oh well, maybe I need burnt orange next. <laughs> so then I just went crazy with kind of orangey colors. To tone the orange down that's behind this, I put coffee dyed paper over the print, and that really did help a lot to tone it down. Another journal card. A little little teeny tag with a sunflower on it. Another journal card with a tab on it. Just scrap, scrapbook paper, cardstock. Okay, Vicki, push it in there. There. 
It's like trying to put a size nine, a size nine foot into a size eight shoe. These are uh, postcards with with stamps that I had for ephemera, and I put the stamps on there. And um, these came from the back of cardstock scrapbook paper, which I thought was very really, very cool. Look at that. The other side, there were pre-done postcards and those kind of things, and I used them all through this book. That's where this came from. Oh, hello. Just when you think it's okay to go back into the water, the dog barks. <laughs> they were all asleep on the couch till I turn on record. All right, here's the negative space. This is just a little piece of... Um, Coffee dyed scrapbook paper. I'm um, scrapbook paper. Uh, computer paper. This is washi across three little scraps. That's a pre-cut thing from you know that. These are pre-done cards. I don't know where I got these from. Cool though. This I made when I made the the original idea book. And there's the pad of paper. It and I know this sounds really silly but I hated that when I would close when I close this thing it scooted around so I put velcro on the back of it <laughs> don't tell okay I just got tired of watching it wobble over to one side and then get stuck and I couldn't open it so I said I'll fix that <laughs> here we go tuck spot with nothing tucked in it <gasps> How did that happen? Wait, I must fix this. Okay, look. All right, there's the, the lots of paper in there, and then something in the back. But ba -da -ba -da -ba -dee. see, it doesn't work right. See how it gets stuck in there? This is a bad arrangement. My fault. Another journal card with a tab on it, and I took stars, some scrap pe scrap paper, and went ahead and just punched little stars. These are the little teeny cards that were on the back of some cardstock scrapbook paper. There's a belly band with um, a pocket. And oh, again, with nothing in here. Oh, this is terrible. Hang on. Oh, look. <laughs> There's another journal card with a tab on it. See, everything that was br a brighter shade of something, I toned it down by using a lot of the Walnut Stain Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz Walnut Stain. Oh, no, you can't see it, can you? Eh, see, right there. Walnut Stain. Take my word for it. It's what it says on the front, underneath all the other stuff on top of it. <laughs> all right, this is just one of those little cards with the belly band. This is a sticker on top of the last part of the fold here this is uh, yeah, this is a stamp that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago like when I lived in Virginia Beach four or five years ago and this is a stamp that came with the other one so I put them both on there I figured eh, they look good together this idea came from Gail I hate I'm gonna mask her the poor woman's name is it Agustinelli anyway um, she did fake envelope clusters and I was like oh that's such a cool idea and I thought well it'll never work in here I'll never find a spot guess what this is a tuck spot with just leftover scrapbook paper and da -da! there we go is that cool I was so excited I know you guys are going please <laughs> um more paper Um, in the other book, I did not like these two pages because I thought they were really very busy. These are busy, but in a different way. The color is toned down. It's not in your face as much. The egg prints came from Graphic Fairy a long time ago. I printed them off on cardstock, and then I buffed it up with some of that walnut stain. Some Tim Holtz words, some uh, music paper, and just... Kind of a yellowish cardstock. A lot of things on there. Scraps. A little card. C for clock. One of those little fake postcard things that, you know, 
scraps cardstock and I glued these pockets on one on top of the other and when I did that I made it so I, can't, I have a hard time getting this one behind there because this other one overlaps. I need to be a little more observant about what I'm putting in the pockets and how I overlap them because when you shove something in there it catches on the pocket. So I didn't glue this flat down this time. I left room for the pocket. This one is has two two pockets on it. This one. See there's that postcard on the back of that paper. Then a little a little book. The way Corey makes them so it has a very flat little profile. Isn't that very flat? That is awesome to me. Not that I'll ever write in it, but it just looks so cool. <laughs> and a little pad of paper sewn, then it's just tucked in the pocket. And here is the four square one where there are four, these are four sheets of uh, cardstock that are cut two inches high and four inches long and then they're just all overlapped on each other so that you kind of make a natural pocket because you've stacked them on one another. And this one with the belly band, I did a butterfly on it. I did not use glossy accents on it. I thought maybe I got a little carried away last book using that, although I do like the way it looks. So you just slide it in there and the butterfly kind of holds it and holds it in place. More butterflies. This side has a giant tag in it. This one's really big. This is bigger than the ones I'm doing for iCAD. Then I took my um, cuddle bug and cut some things and covered them with paper and browned them up, put some words on them, glued some stuff on them, and tucked them in. This one in the black and white book had the plastic over it like a window. I decided not to do that this time because I wasn't very good at it last time. So I decided this time we'll just skip it. So I did do the frame around here. I just browned the edges and then I um, glued them one on top of the other and just put the butterfly in the middle, a big butterfly I had. I think I like it better this way than with the plastic over it. Here's the uh, double corner that's held in with a um, paper clip from Tim Holtz and this is just another one of those little things that I cut out with a cuddle bug and glued some ephemera I had on it and some Tim Holtz words and then a journal card and then you turn it over and the back side has the paper clip holding for this side and it, you just tuck your little fake card in there and that little even that little bitty paper clip there will hold it and keep it from coming undone. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, this one doesn't exactly match that side, but bien. this is a paper clip. It has a little tiny fake um, envelope in it. And I think learning how to sew this, I broke four machine needles on this. <laughs> I learned that maybe sewing over um, paper clips probably wasn't my thing. And neither is putting them back where I got them from. Okay. And then there's this tall tag. This flower, I drew this flower and the greenery that's on it. That's my original artwork. And then it opens up and inside is another little pocket and it has three little tag type things. Ephemera. This is all copy dyed paper. This was done with a giant doily that somebody gave to me. I just love the way it turned out. There's that. And we'll try this one more time. <laughs> I will not be defeated. <laughs> then under here is another one of those fake postcards. Oh, I didn't brown the edges. Oops. And this is that double sewn envelope with chicken scratch fake address stuff with the zigzag and it's got the uh, coffee dyed paper on top of scrapbook paper and oh my goodness I accidentally sewed a page on there I thought I was finished oh <gasps> I am finished <laughs> I 
am finished. Look at that. It's stuck. Well, phooey. Okay. Well, we're going to pretend we didn't see that. Look. I'm all done. <laughs> the end. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for coming back to watch the brown one. The blue one is going to be on sabbatical for a while while I move on to some other obsession. I'll let you know what it is in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I do appreciate the comments that you guys leave me. And um, if I don't get to them right away, don't get upset. I do try to get to them. I have the um, filter set on there for comments I haven't read yet. But for some reason, it doesn't catch all of them. And I have to go individually, video by video by video, to try to figure out where they are. I, I don't know what happened. Anywho, this is it. Until the next video. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Okay, so this is the last part of the book because when I did the flip and you saw the ending, I still had three pages that were unadorned. So I decided to take another look at the book and I did change out some things on this one that moved it away from the yellow and more toned down. So this is just one of those little accordion books with the belly band and this is the same... Um, tag bookmark thing the same insides I just switched this out um, because I just thought the yellow was too much All right so these are the three pages that were unfinished I did this one that is a six by six by five rectangle that you bring the corners in to meet then you do a belly band across did I glue the belly band nope on one of them, I glued a belly band down, something down. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, and these are just tucked in. These are little tags that I made that are just tucked inside here. And then if you really wanted to tuck more, you could tuck more into here and here. And like I said in the black and white video, this is what Corey says when you glue this down. Only glue the parts you have not folded. So that's these two corners here, and that's it. This is just paper clip one of those that has the reversible paper clips. This is the uh, page that has a pocket that um, I put an iCAD in here. And you only glue it down on the three sides. And I did sew all the way around it. And I did take Corey's advice. This um, sheet music was a little bit old. So I took the first, I don't know if it's a quarter of an inch, and folded it down and then sewed around all of it and made sure I sewed here to give it a little more strength in case I want to put a, a magnet here or any kind of um, uh, oh my goodness the words escape me I really need that second cup of coffee um, if I want to put any closure here then I just took a tag and glued it onto this little cutout right here that's covered with leftover scrapbook paper and then the last page is just a leftover piece of paper from this right here that I used a belly band and just put two items in it and that's basically it. So I wanted to finish the whole book out. I didn't want to leave you hanging with three pages that weren't finished. So I went ahead and finished them. I had a good time making the book. I think I'm going to um, finish the other idea book, the original one that started all of this. The one in the big red book. I think I'm going to finish that. The second signature should I should have enough ideas out of here that I had never seen before I will replicate those and put those in the other book for my original idea book but this one's done and so is the black and white and I'm very excited that I finished something that I started and um, I'm very happy with both of them they both have you know pros and cons to them but overall I have really enjoyed doing them and I do like the three piece book binding situation. I think it it makes it easier to open flat out. Like if you had a, a pamphlet, three hole pamphlet stitch doing this, it would make it a little more of a challenge to open stuff so it's flat. But I did enjoy making the book and I'm very appreciative to Corey Dahman for putting out the uh, idea book and doing all those videos. There's a ton of videos. so. I got a lot of value out of those videos that cost me absolutely nothing. Check out Corey's channel, and I will see you in the next flip. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.